uh, fractions as operators. A smooth operator, all right? So fractions a smooth operator. Fractions can enlarge and reduce. So for example, Casey is one and one fifth as tall as me. Casey's a tall guy. This is a rough guess, okay? So notice here, I just made a statement. I'm taking a number. Here I wrote it as, by the way, as a mixed number, right? And it could be written as an improper fraction, six-fifths. But is that number, by the way, more or less than one? One and one-fifth more or less than one? More, right? So is Casey taller than me or, or shorter than me? Taller, right? He's one and one-fifth tall. So taking me as the unit, you would take that is the starting point, but he's one-fifth even taller than that, at least. He's tall, okay? So notice I'm using fraction here to think about, like it's a comparison, comparing. I mean, this is what Lucy was talking about. Notice that she's preparing her kids for this way of thinking, a more or less than relationship. I'm using fraction to operate on something. I'm operating on like my height and making it bigger to be Casey's height. It's like a scaling up. Does that make sense? Okay. Or Lorenzo is five six as tall as Casey. Okay. Is Lorenzo taller or shorter than Casey then? How'd you know that? Well, you know it because you can you've seen them standing next to each other. But what do you know about five six? Smaller than one? Oh, oh, okay. Well, yeah, I wasn't trying to compare these two, but yeah, if we just think of five six, five six is smaller than one, so Lorenzo is shorter than Casey. Okay? Notice I'm thinking about fraction, it's called an operator. It's another way to think about fraction. We could use whole numbers that way too. We could say that. Um, you know, my, um, my math book is two times as thick as my um, art book, right? It's two times, that's the language you use with operators. It's two times bigger or it's two times smaller or something. It's half as big. You know, my, my burrito is half as big as your burrito. Usually when you say that, you're thinking about the volume of it though, right? Okay, but that's an operator way to think. That's just another way to think about number in general. Are you with me on that? This is maybe something that isn't um, a strength of the cr elementary curriculum. Again, something we need to be doing more of. There's been a lot of research on this. It's hard for kids to solve these, okay? So example, the um, hippo is, or the giraffe is twice as tall as the hippo, okay? A lot of children have a hard time with those types of problems. So if the hippo's five feet tall, how, how tall would the giraffe be? Hippo's five feet tall. Giraffe is twice as tall as the hippo. How tall would the giraffe be then? A lot of children struggle with that. What does that mean to be twice as tall? Notice it's an operator idea, okay? And once they start getting that idea, twice as tall, then you start bringing in two and a half times taller, like fraction, right? It's not just whole numbers. Those types of problems, if you can be doing those occasionally with your kids, especially by middle elementary, that's really going to help them. Because we know children struggle with operator notions of number in general. You with me on this one? Start is something you need to start working on, especially if you're middle elementary. But if you're upper elementary or middle school, you should be doing lots of these with your kids. It's a scaling type, scaling up or scaling down. Does that make sense? Other questions or comments? Certainly with even young kids, though, you could be using that language. We have twice as many gummy bears as cookies. We have two cookies. How many gummy bears do we have? You could be using that language. Again, it's a comparison idea. But notice it's a different from an additive way to think, right? We have three times as many gummy bears as cookies. Okay, turn to, your, uh, turn to your neighbor and say, times as. That's all you have to say, times as. <laughs> Write it in your notes and circle it, okay? 
We need to use that language. Something is twice as big as, or it's three times as big as. 